Hey guys, so I want to show you how I got my green padlock back in my uh, browser bar or my URL bar or the address bar uh, in Google Chrome and it should also work for Internet Explorer as well. Uh, you can look over here and see there's just it looks like a little white document <clears throat> and what you should be getting here if you have SSL an SSL certificate installed is a green padlock and HTTPS should also be in green and if you click on this it says your connection is encrypted however there are other resources which are not secure on this page and if you're in WordPress there there's a plugin that should solve the problem most of the time without having to do anything major and I'm gonna get here and show you what it is in my plugins alright give it one second okay alright one second here I just can't remember the name of it right offhand Okay. Yes, here it is. Really simple SSL. Now, usually, like the last time I had this problem when I first set up the website, this solved all of my problems. And you just go into settings. <clears throat> and, you know, your configuration should have green check marks here settings okay you really don't have to do much but that should make your web your website work with the green padlock but and it should look like this right here green padlock HTTPS should be in green now if that doesn't solve your problem you can go to a website called whynopadlock.com right here okay and then you put in here in this uh, little box to check your URL your website URL Oops. and then enter and then just let it check <clears throat> And it's going to tell you what the problem is. Now mine, uh, it went to, the padlock went missing and it went back to not be insecure or some insecure items, unsecure items on the page. And so um, I couldn't figure out why the plugin wasn't making it work. So I thought I'd just check it manually with this website. And it did solve my problem. And it found a couple insecure items or unsecure items. Just give it another second here and it should show us. Okay, so it says I have a valid security certificate, <clears throat> which through, and then right here it's telling me total number of items and then number of insecure items. So it's saying my, my logo and this little dude right here is unsecured. And to figure out what that image was I just right clicked on that and I go to the image directly and it's showing me my powered by stripe button and I recall where that's at so um, that was under my widgets under appearance and uh, widgets and then that was um, let's see in the footer right here under payments and shipping and you can see right here that is an insecure URL so I just put an HTTPS there and hit save and then the other insecure item is the logo right here 
which I can go to it and just verify which one it is. Okay, and I know where that's at on my website as well. So I'm going to go in here under the uh, Frontier options for my theme where I put in the logo, <coughs> which was right here. And I actually just fixed that a minute ago before I ran this test. So we'll just save that. And then uh, when I go back to my website now, I fix those two items. And instead of this white document, when I refresh the page, there should be a green paddle lot. Boom. So it's just a handy little tool. My site is fixed. And it seems to be working on all the different pages of the site. If you go to different pages, there's no problems. If I go into my store, And uh, if I click on a product, like this vape pen, it is secure. All the pages are secure. But if you have a page where it's showing where it's not secure, just use this whynopadlock.com. It'll tell you the number of insecure items, and uh, you should be able to just go through them and fix them. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, but the first thing I would do again is use that product or the plugin called really simple SSL okay and that should fix your problem and if it doesn't try this Avenue okay hit me up in the comments if you have questions or if you're stuck and you don't know how to fix your website uh, you can hit me up and if it's WordPress I can probably help you fix it uh, so <clears throat> I would just need like um, access to your admin or set me up as a temporary admin and uh, for like a small fee I don't know if it doesn't take me very long pray like 20 30 bucks 50 bucks at the most for depending on how much time it takes me so I would be glad to help you and we can get it up and running real fast but if you um, are a little bit tech savvy you should be able to do this on your own if not hit me up and I can do it for you all right thanks guys I don't know what you did, but if I had that 